Now, don't get me wrong. I was amongst the crowd that was incredibly excited the night after Fastlane when, lo and behold, the Shane O'Mac is back. I got caught up in the initial buzz and the initial excitement, and I'm like, you know, this is cool. Wow, this is a legitimate, crazy, awesome surprise. And now it stoked my interest a little bit for WrestleMania 32. And, of course, the cruel tease that is the WWE decides to fucking cock kick me by putting him in the ring against The Undertaker in a Hell in a Cell match for WrestleMania 32. <sighs> Damn it. But, you know, to me, the thing is, is once you get past the initial appeal of Shane McMahon being back, you look at the whole story of him and Taker wrestling at WrestleMania, there's not a lot there. Now it becomes as much of anything else a story about Vince and Shane and a bunch of family shit that dates back for decades. And, you know, it's just very fucking confusing. And you've got to have some type of story to go off of. Something that can hook you in a little bit as to justifying why this match even needs to occur and why the hell, most importantly of all, Taker would sit there and even agree to work for this match because otherwise it just looks like Vince's, Vince's bitch. And, you know, this whole thing is starting to become kind of stupid. And it's very appropriate heading into this year's WrestleMania that this, among so many other things, looks to be completely freaking stupid. But perhaps the single stupidest thing that I've seen so far on the road to WrestleMania is the fact in multiple occasions, at multiple times, the WWE has put Shane McMahon in a situation where he has to throw rights and lefts. They've taken somebody and they're trying to establish his badassery and they're trying to get him over as this big physical force and all this other shit. And all it does is make the freaking product look even more stupid than it already does. In particular, every time Shane throws a right or a left hand, I fucking cringe. This is stupid and this is freaking ridiculous. Like the crap a couple weeks back when the security guards are trying to get at Shane. And he's throwing all this crap. I mean, it looked terrible. Like, even Matt Morgan and Crimson have to sit there and say, my God, that was shitty. What I saw Shane McMahon doing there, and then again when he was square up with The Undertaker, felt like, to me anyways, it belonged on a Chappelle show skit. It should have been part of Friday Night Sissy Fights. And the spectacular schlong sucker Shane McMahon. That was the type of fucking rights and lefts this dude was throwing. I don't understand it. How the fuck... Can people do this for a living? And it's not Shane McMahon alone. But how the fuck can people do this for a living and yet make it look so terrible? It looks like you have one fucking job to do. You have one thing to get done and you can't even get that done right. It's like if you're married and you have a stay-at-home wife. But not only does she not work, she can't cook worth a shit, she doesn't clean worth a damn, and she doesn't fuck worth a fuck. Now what the fuck good is she? It's the same thing if you're a woman and you're married to a husband and he doesn't work and he sits his bum ass at home. He doesn't do the fucking yard work. He doesn't come open the jars for you. He doesn't kill the spiders. He doesn't do anything. Now what the fuck good is he? It's the same thing here. What the fuck good are these entertainers, these wrestlers, if they can't even throw rights or lefts that look realistic? We know it's fake. We know it's scripted. Who gives a fuck? So with almost everything else in this goddamn world. But you can make it look good. You could try to at least sus help us suspend some element of disbelief by actually trying to make it look real. But this little sissy fight crap that Shane McMahon's doing. Oh, use quick MMA strikes. Ah, fuck quick strike MMA bullshit. Take a cock kick straight in between the uprights. Fuck you. I mean, how the fuck could this company sit there and see... That after the first time he did it, it looked like shit. We're going to come right back and do it again. It's just astounding to me. And it just overall is endemic to me of the stupidity of the people, frankly, inside of the wrestling business today. The performers in the business. Above all else, like the number one fundamental move you could do after the initial lockup, you would think, is learn how to throw a right hand. You would think. Yeah, consistently, time after time after time, these people can't fucking do it. And they want to sit there and get on fans about how we're stupid. No, you're the stupid fucks that can't even do your job right. You have one fucking job to do and you can't even do that. I cringe every time 
There's one of these big brawls outside of the ring and one of these big beatdowns. Because it always looks so fake and it always looks so fucking stupid. And these guys are sitting there throwing these sissy rights and these stupid lefts. And we're supposed to pay money to watch you guys actually wrestle? You can't even get this shit right. Knowing goddamn good and well that probably once we get to WrestleMania, Shane's going to potato somebody's fucking ass immediately. Probably take her. Maybe Vince too. Who the fuck knows? Who the fuck cares? Why would you put a guy in a position to look that stupid? And furthermore, if you're the guy that you know you've been gone for years and you have one moment and a big moment at that at WrestleMania 32, why would you come back and do that shit and make the product look so fucking stupid? The product is stupid enough as it is. It doesn't need anything or anyone else helping it along. And yet we consistently see this, like I said, Matt Morgan and Crimson are sitting there and saying, Whoa, Shane, that looks like shit. I'm just saying. How fucking hard could it be to throw a fucking right hand? A left hand? You know, actually make them look like they work. Actually make them look like they're somewhat fucking real. See that? How hard is that? Unbelievable. The fucking Jay wearing fucking strutting and profiling Muhammad Ali wannabe Shane McMahon has come back and he's in one of them feature main event matches of WrestleMania 32 and he, yet he throws punches that my eight and six year old nieces would be fucking ashamed of they've thrown better rights than left than this shit unbelievable Makes this product look stupid. WWE, please, between now and WrestleMania, no more attempts to try and make Shane look like a man. No more attempts at any type of physicality whatsoever. Because all it does is, I'm sure I'm not alone, is take my interest in seeing that match at 32 and flush it down the fucking toilet. When I legitimately feel like I can throw better rights than lefts than your featured performers at the biggest show of the year, there is a fucking problem. All this jujitsu, fast, furry paced fucking MMA bullshit. How about people actually learn to become professional wrestlers? Jesus Christ. You would think Shane McMahon would know better. You would think Shane McMahon would be better. And you think the WWE, once he did it once, wouldn't know better than to put him in the same situation again to make it look even more ridiculous and stupid. But lo and behold, what do you know? Ding dong, that's fucking wrong. The bluest of blue fucks is wrong with the business today. Jesus.